Today I'm sitting down because it's been a long day. So, excuse the bad lighting. I'm also trying my lamp. So if there's even more glare on my glasses than there usually is, I'm sorry. And today's topic is replicas. And it's a topic that's been talked to death in all forms of social media in Lolita. So I thought that I wouldn't make a video about it, especially since my opinion is very lukewarm, as you will find out. But I've gotten a lot of questions and requests about making this video. And since this arrived, I thought that I could make one. And I'm explaining this in a bit. But first, let's talk about what is a replica in regards to Lolita fashion. And it's basically design theft. A brand makes the print, decides the fabric, makes special lace. Usually there is a lot of people involved and getting paid. And eventually the dress is made. And then some other company sees the dress and steals the design and then makes a copy of it. Usually with different kind of fabric than the original is and they often don't have special lace, they just have a general or a generic lace or don't have lace at all. And it's, it's design theft. And usually they are of poorer quality, but I have not seen one in person while knowing that a dress is replica, so I cannot comment that from my own experience, but that is the general consensus on the internet. So, replica is a copy that is made of something original, like this. And that is the reason why, if you're new to Lolita, you do not want to shop on eBay, because I was looking for a red purse to go with my gothic wardrobe, because the only red purse I currently have, or had two weeks ago, was this one and it is very pretty. I don't know how well the colors go now with this lighting, but this is a very nice deep red and it has some floral patterns and I bought this to go with a skirt that is black and it has red roses, so it's a gothic classic border print and this matches with that perfectly and I have a lot of black bags that I can wear with gothic lolita but I wanted a red one. So when I saw this, I remembered, oh that looks pretty, I think I've contemplated on buying this before. And I instantly bought it. And 10 minutes later I remembered, no, I remember seeing this when Hello Baddie got this, you should watch her video, she's amazing, I'll link her below. But she bought this from Angelic Pretty and made a video about it, she bought the black one, but I then did a Google thing and find out that there was a red one. And that's where I remembered it from. And usually when you see things on eBay and you remember seeing it somewhere, it's usually a replica. I did not stop to think about it when I bought this and now I have a replica bag. It's It should say angelic pretty, but it has an H and S. I don't even know what that stands for. And I think it's, there's two sizes, but I think that this is still smaller. And it has a gold chain. And it's a replica. <laughs> Since I bought it and it arrived, I'm going to use it. But I'm not proud of having bought it. I'm quickly gonna talk a bit about what the general conversation about replicas is and I'll put my own comments there, my own opinions. Please do not be angry with me, these are my opinions and you are completely entitled to having your own opinion. But usually the cons are for replicas is that it is stealing, design stealing, and it takes away from the original dress, they are directly lost sales, and that the lower quality replicas sully the name because if a person has seen the print and then sees the replica dress in person then they think oh 
oh, that's really bad. And then they think that it's from the brand. So they think that the brand makes bad items, bad quality items. And that the rare prints lose value because if you have an old but desired print that you are hoping to someday sell for the same amount that you bought it for, for example, there are dresses that go for 500 or 700 dollars. So naturally, if you bought a dress for 700 dollars and hope to sell it for about even price after it, and you know, if you stain it or something, but for the amount same price, and then out comes a replica that is really good quality and looks very close to the original, then the person who wants that dress is more likely to buy the $90 replica than the $700 original dress. And the pros is that the often the replicated dress is no longer for sale because it's an older print, so there is no loss of sales there, or the buyer didn't fit the original dress, either it was too big or too small, or it had some kind of issue with the cut that they did not want to buy the original, but the replica, for example, has custom made, so there is no lost sales there, and that it should be taken as a compliment, because they see something pretty so much that they want to replicate it. And there are I'm gonna quickly say this, because these are not my own opinions, but because I've seen these come up a lot, I want to address them, that it's brands are fat shaming because they only make small sizes, and that brand is expensive only because the makers are greedy and want all of the monies. And I disagree with this, because I admit that probably some of the price of brand Lolita items is because they are the brand, the same as if you're buying Gucci shoes. But there is also, like I mentioned, a lot of people who have to be paid, the designers, the fabric makers, the sewers, and it, they have very high quality fabrics and laces, and those are not cheap as a person who have made dresses myself and seen how much good lace costs, it is not cheap. And I just wanted to quickly get those out of the way. As for my own personal thoughts, the main thing is that we are all adults, or at least kind of adults, even if you're underage, so we are all entitled to making our own decisions, no matter what you decide to buy or not to buy, so I will not judge anyone based on what they are wearing. So you do you, and I'm not gonna touch that. And I am not the smallest girl, so there are plenty of dresses that do not fit me, especially OPs, because my shoulders apparently are wide as fuck. I did not know this before Lolita, but apparently they're wide. So there are a ton of dresses that I would love to own and wear, and there are a lot of prints that I love, but there is something wrong with the cut or length, because I'm very picky with my dresses. So there's a lot of prints and dresses that I would love to wear, but can't for some reason. But you know what? There are also a lot of pretty dresses that I can. So I do not have, not even close, have the money to buy and own everything that I want, so, instead of lamenting on the ones that I cannot put on my body, I instead focus on the dresses that I can have and can own. So, when it comes to dresses, I will not be buying replicas, because I do not want to support replica making, because I just don't like the ethics of it. So I myself will not be buying dress replicas. And also, if you find it hard to find brand dresses and blouses that fit you, then there are a ton of beautiful indie brands that do custom sizing. So, even though I just said that I do not judge, I still think that it's a pretty flimsy excuse to say that you buy uh, replicas from brand because the brand doesn't fit you because there are so many other dresses. For example, this is an indie dress from Taobao 
and they often do custom sizing, so I think that that's a good middle way. And yeah, that's it for dresses. As for shoes and bags, I am not wealthy enough to spend that much money on bags and shoes that are basically plastic and cost more than I am willing to spend. I'm saving my hard-earned pennies on main pieces like dresses and I try to buy cheaper blouses and accessories and shoes and bags. But that being said, even though I wouldn't pay a lot for a bag, I also would not buy the replica because there are tons of beautiful indie bags, especially if you're sweet. The amount of sweet Lolita bags that I would love to own, but I'm not a sweet Lolita, so there's no point in me buying them. But there are a ton, and they are also pretty. But there are also a lot of gothic bags, and I just... Says the person that I'm not going to buy replica bags, and here it is. But I will. I would not spend that much money on a bag that is basically plastic, but I also wouldn't buy the replica because there are a lot of pretty ones. Same goes for shoes, because I've seen brand bags and brand shoes up close because my friends have them, and I honestly do not believe that the quality difference is that big for, for example, bodyline shoes. Uh, my friend has had very bad luck with bodyline shoes. For example, she ordered two white pairs of shoes and one shoe from each pair had the sole come off. So she had to take those to the shoemaker and had them fixed. But I myself have never had problems with bodyline shoes and to be honest the quality difference is not that great. And there are also a lot of off-brand shoes and normal store shoes that go well with Lolita. So I would also not buy that much for a brand shoes. That being said, I would pay extra for a good quality. For example, if the shoes or the bag is real leather, then that of course, of course costs a lot more than fake leather. And if there's some kind of brocade or embroidery or things like that... The, the cat is falling off here. She hasn't found her palos quite yet. But I am, like I said, I would be willing to pay for the quality of the materials. As for recognizing replicas, I am mostly gothic Lolita with a bit of classic, so I don't really pay that much attention to angelic pretty because I just don't, and generally speaking, I cannot afford to buy a brand new release from brand, so I rarely follow brands like new releases, but I do know all of the Moitier bags because I do not want to buy a replica of those even though they are absolutely gorgeous. And I know some baby bags, I know some shoes, but like I said, Angelic Pretty kind of below my radar, so I bought this one, which is sad. So I may not and for blouses, I do not recognize if some blouses, some indie blouses that I've bought are replicas because I usually don't fit brand blouses, especially for my shoulders, so I have no reason to look at them because I can't wear them, so I don't recognize if a blouse is replica. And as far as blouses go, they are. there are only so many variations that you can do so there's bound to be some similarities be between the blouses, so I'm not too too snuffy about that. Of course, if there is some kind of staple thing to the blouse, then I wouldn't want to buy a replica, but for the most part, I just don't really care. But yeah, that was kind of my opinion on replicas. This was a very rambly video, and I apologize for that. But the main thing is that you are an adult and you do what you want to do. I'm not here to judge anyone. If you decide to buy replicas or not buy replicas or buy inspired things, I myself will try not to buy any replicas, but I accidentally bought one.
and I am going to use it because I now own it. So yeah, that was it for this week's video. I try to not make too many of these videos that I feel have been talked to death, but if you do have requests on a topic you would like me to touch, feel free to leave them down below and I will see you again next Wednesday.